What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to teach you how I made the deep water culture hydroponic rig that you saw in one of my previous videos where I grew a lot of lettuce. The deep water culture rig that I'm going to show you how to make is actually very cheap. So let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to need is like a tote or a tub. This is going to be your water reservoir and this is going to be where the roots actually grow. So the size can be any size, it just depends on how many plants you're going to want to grow. Next you're going to need some sort of device to be able to mark and measure out exactly where your holes are going to be for your plants. You're going to need a drill. And then in my case I'm going to use a 3 inch hole saw because that's how big my net pots are. As far as where the plants are going to grow in, you're going to need some medium. You're going to need some nutrients for your water. And then you're also going to need something to start your seeds in. I'll provide links in the description for all of these things in case you're interested in them. And finally you're going to need net cups. I'm going to use six because that's how many plants I'm going to grow out of this reservoir. All right, so first I just take my net pots and I kind of eyeball it and just see how I want to fit everything on the actual container. You're going to want to leave room in between your net pots so your plants have room to grow. If you put them too close together, your plants are going to push against each other and they're going to just have issues with growing. So once you figure out the positioning of your net pots, find the center of where your net pot's going to be and then mark the plastic lid for where you're going to drill with your hole saw. I actually screwed up significantly when I first attempted this. When I tried to drill through the lid, I did not use anything as a backing. And so the guide drill bit that's in the center wasn't able to hold its position and it was able to slip around because of the thin plastic. And so it allowed the hole saw to cut an oblong shape. So when you do this at home, make sure you use a piece of scrap wood behind the plastic so you give something for the middle drill bit, the guide bit, to actually hold on to and keep a very straight circle. I also really struggled with this part. For whatever reason, I just could not get it to cut smoothly. I've seen some people recommend putting the drill in reverse. That way you kind of scrape the hole into it without the teeth catching really hard into the plastic. But I found both methods to be very difficult. Just take your time, go very slow, and try and keep it as even and steady as possible. If you don't have a drill or a hole saw, you could probably do this with a really sharp X-Acto blade. And if you do choose this method, just be very careful so you don't cut yourself. You just want your hole size to be large enough so that the lip of the net pots actually sits above the hole and does not fall through. So in my case I'm using 3 inch net pots and I'm also drilling a 3 inch hole and the lip sits right above the hole and it does not fall through. Because the hole saw didn't make perfect clean cuts and there's a lot of burrs, I just took a really sharp razor blade and just tried to remove the burrs the best I could. This honestly doesn't need to happen but I just like to make my things nice and clean. Once you've got all your holes drilled, you can test fit your net pots and just see how they look. And as you can see, they all hang down quite nicely and they fit in there smoothly. Alright, so here's where we are. We're at a fork in the road. At this point, you could choose to make this just a Kratky method, or you can choose to make this a deep water culture method. The real differentiating thing is the fact that we're adding air to our water. With the Kratky method, you just allow the actual water to be eaten up by the plants and evaporated. And as that happens, the water level lowers allowing oxygen to get at the roots. But with the cracking method, once the water level is all the way out, you cannot re-add water to the reservoir without drowning the plants. So it limits your total time between growth to harvest. With the deep water culture method, we're actually adding air to the water through the entire process. So the plants can live in this water as long as you possibly want because they're constantly receiving nutrients and oxygen while the water line remains the same. So to make my Kratky setup into a deep water culture setup, I just went to Walmart and I picked up some really cheap aquarium supplies. It was about a $5 air pump. I bought some dividers and then one set of tubing and then two air stones just so I could evenly uh, produce air bubbles in the water. You want to kind of spread out the air bubbles just because this allows more movement in the water so you don't have dead spots. If you just had one air stone in the middle or on the left hand side, you're just causing motion in one side of the system and it doesn't keep the water circulating as well. So as you can see I just take the tube, I cut it into a few pieces and then I hook them up to the T's and that's where I then I put on each side just an air stone so that way the air is divided between the two stones. Try and make sure that the length of the hose is equal so that way equal amounts of air go to each stone. I made sure to test this before I put it in the actual setup just to make sure that equal amounts of air are coming out of both sides. Not all air stones are made equal in these cheaper purchases, so you just never know and you just want to check before you get your system going. Alright, now we have everything prepared and built that we need for this setup. 
I'm going to use a gallon jug to add water to my reservoir so I can keep track of exactly how many gallons I put in. I ended up putting in 7 gallons and then I read the back of my nutrients package and saw exactly how much per gallon I needed to add. I measured it out and then I mixed it into the water. I ended up drilling a hole in the container on the side just to prevent light from shooting in from the top where I put my actual air hose into the container. So once you have water in the container, you can feed your aeration setup into the actual container. It's important to prevent light from getting inside of your reservoir. That's why it's good to have a black one or something that's very thick and dark. Any light that gets in could cause a potential algae bloom, which would eat up your nutrients causing an imbalance. Now we're at the last step. Now that you have your water and your nutrients and your aeration going, now you can actually put your medium in the net pots and then transplant your seedlings into the net pots. I actually start my seeds out in another area and I wait till they get a little bigger before I transplant them into the system. It's a waste to run the whole system when your seeds haven't even sprouted yet. As far as what plants I'm growing, I'm actually growing two types of lettuce. This is my first experiment so I wanted to try a variety. I'm growing two heads of matchless head lettuce two heads of black simpson. I'm also growing spinach and chard. If you want to see how well they grew, I have a video that I'll put up on the screen and that's exactly uh, what you're seeing here in their seedling phase and you'll be able to see exactly how big they got with this setup. Make sure you watch the water level in this thing. If you let it get way too low, your plants are going to start creating roots that are designed for air. So then when you actually fill the reservoir back up, you might drown your plants, killing your crop. Also, depending on what kind of plants you're growing and how long it takes for them to grow, you might have to add more nutrients and replace the water as time goes on. So yeah, the last step then is to provide light for your setup so that way your plants can grow. And then you can watch and see how they do. Alright guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video and I hope you guys give it a shot. Hopefully it works for you and you can see why you would use a deep water culture method over something like the Kratky method. So I hope you try either one of those methods and it works for you. Thanks again for watching. If you really like this, you can give it a like or subscribe. And you can also leave something in the comments if you have any tips or tricks that I missed out on. Thanks for watching. See ya.